A very good day to you and welcome to our program. We are sitting in the chapel today because outside there's a wind blowing and the camera crew say it's too noisy. But the cattle are happy outside, the horses are happy outside. It's very dry, folks, but the Lord will send the rain. I want to speak to you today about leaving a good example. If we go to 1 Peter, right, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21, this is what the Word of God says. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 21. This is what the Lord says. For to this you are called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow His steps. Amen? Leaving us an example. A great preacher by the name of uh, A.J. Gordon said that he used to pray, Lord, have compassion on a lost world. That's what, that's what he used to pray. Until one day he said he could almost hear the Lord speak to him tangibly in his quiet time room. And the Lord said to him, no more. Don't pray that prayer anymore. From now on, it is for you to have the compassion. We, you and I, have to be the example to a dying world. We can't keep saying, Lord, have a, have a compassion on the, on the world. Lord, save the people. Lord, feed the hungry. Lord, take care of the needy. Lord, look after the orphans. We need to start doing it because that's what God has called us to do. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. And preaching is not just by word of mouth only, it's by action. So I want to encourage you today to do exactly what the Lord told A.J. Gordon. Don't pray anymore that God will have compassion on the world, but rather let you and me start to be the compassion. Where do we start, Angus? We start in our own home. You know, just yesterday I had the privilege of going to the local primary school where my grandchildren <laughs> were having an open day. Not my children, my grandchildren. And there was three little boys, and they're on three different classes. So we started off with a, a concert. We had to wave to them, sing the songs they sang. They were singing their hearts out. They're little kids like this. Then we had to go to each one of their classrooms. Well, I couldn't sit in the chairs because the chairs are only that size. And they had to open up all their books, their writing books. And, you know, it just brought a couple of tears to my, to my eyes when they had a big photo, a picture that they'd drawn of Granny. They called her Gorko, which is Zulu for Granny. And Kulu, that's me. <laughs> I never realized I looked so handsome. And they drew these pictures. And I had to take time out, lots of time. Because when I finished the first class, I had to go to the second class, then the third class. And they were so eager and waiting to show us everything. And that's where my wife helps me so much. I want to speed it up. And she said, no, no, let's just take our time. I think we're the last people to leave that school. But those little boys will never forget that. We've got to show the world Jesus, starting with our own children and our grandchildren. If you haven't got time for your children, then you don't have time. You see? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his family? Okay, Mark 8.36, it says loses his soul, which is the same thing. Do you have time to stop and speak to that person in the wheelchair and tell them that you love them and you are so proud of their courage? I've had a minor operation I've, on my knee. I've been in, uh, laid up for 10 days and you think the world is coming to an end. You see a man who's been in a wheelchair all his life. Give him some time. Show some compassion. Until next time, be Jesus to the world. Goodbye. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.